I was in the service for 19 years. I was in the Army for 18 years. I was 10 years active duty. I had a stroke March the 17th in 2003. In stroke patients, they often lose the ability to open their hand. Contralaterally controlled FES is a way of delivering electrical stimulation to the impaired hand. We use a glove on the unaffected hand, so when the patient opens their gloved hand, their unaffected hand, stimulation opens their affected hand. One of the unique aspects of this study is most of the treatment happens at home. They go home with a stimulator and they use that at home. Some of the participants in this study will also have hand therapy video games that we're sending home with them to help them regain hand function. One of the games that is assisted with electrical stimulation is called paddle ball. So it's like pong and they try to open and close their hand to move this paddle uh, vertically up and down to try to prevent a ball from going past them. I have four different video games that I play. The whole session lasts about 45 minutes to an hour, twice a day. I come here two days a week for treatment. I see a difference since I first started coming here with my hand, with the use of my hand. Open it like wider and grab things and hold on to them better. The video game is intended to, to really engage the brain parts that are involved in motor control. By putting them in control of the stimulation, we believe that the brain has the potential of reorganizing so that it regains control without the stimulator if we give them a high enough dose. I think the video games, they do help because it makes me do different things with my hands that I would normally do. That helps me be able to use them more. We've done these CCFES studies, and our most recent one showed that the CCFES treatment was more effective in improving hand dexterity than just electrical stimulation alone. What we've learned from this study, we've already been applying to other populations. So for instance, for traumatic brain injury and vestibular dysfunction, using video games to rehabilitate those disorders and impairments.